Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there, and a lot of really, really cool creations today. Uh, quite a quite a variety of uh, uh, different creations to look at by uh, a lot of different authors. Um, so really excited. But anyway, uh, the very first creation here today is uh, by the author that uh, rarely ever sleeps here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just keep on rashing you about that. Uh, this is the Deep Space Logistics here by Ente. And this is a space station. So I got a kind of spawn floating in the air here on the planet. But, uh, yeah, this looks really, really cool. Uh, you don't see a whole heck of a lot of space station creations on the workshop. I mean, there, there are. There are space stations for sure. But uh, not too often. And this is a pretty good-sized one, too. And it looks like it's uh, going to be super really cool here. Um, first, I love how, it, how, how this is looking. It's... Uh, Obviously, a platform type design, so you can uh, land uh, CVs, uh, SVs, uh, different things on the uh, on this deck over here. It's got some embedded solar panels in a lot of different locations. There's a big solar array down on the bottom side. Plus, uh, you can see the solar panels kind of in the side walls on the front here as well. Maybe there's some more in other locations that I don't know about yet. But, uh, yeah, this looks fantastic. Uh, really, really nice looking uh, creation here. A lot to see on this one. And I'm just kind of taking a look at this main structure here and just all the detail work going on here. Uh, that's just neat. It's got kind of layers to it, too. Uh, we'll we'll uh, walk around. We're not spawning it. I took a, a quick check in a couple of spots here. But, uh, yeah, this is, this, is, uh, this is really, really cool. So taking a look at this part of the creation over here, we've got uh, this dual crane design here, both at like a little bit different heights, and they're sliding on tracks, and they've got multiple like bend points, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. Nice aesthetic touch. Looks like we just opened up a door flying over there. Then we got this uh, center section here, which is kind of a building. Uh, looks like it uh, might be some kind of a, a landing control tower type of thing and I wouldn't say a tower but uh, uh, some kind of uh, building like that and then we got this big storage uh, piece over here so yeah this is uh, asymmetrically done in a lot of lot of places as well which is really cool I love these uh, tanks over here I, do, I am curious if they actually have uh, like storage in them or if it's purely just for uh, for looks I don't know yet um, either way it's very very cool um yeah look at all this going on in here and what's really cool too is this has a, a, a very much an industrial feel to it to me um and here i tell you what let's get up and uh let's walk around here i don't exactly know where i should start even looking at this creation there's so many uh places in it uh but i'm gonna uh i'm gonna get my i'm gonna get up in here somewhere and find one of these uh, catwalks that I've been seeing. Am I on the right level? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Thought there was catwalks. I know there's catwalks. I've seen catwalks. There's a catwalk. Okay, let's let's start here. This probably isn't a great place to start, but I I, I said I was going to do it, so let's just do it here. I'm going to try to adjust the lighting here when I'm walking through this as well. Try to simulate space a little bit better. I know I'm on the the planet I know planets get so dark that you can't see much of anything that might be a little dark it still looks fantastic though I mean yeah just uh, yeah this is all like the low the uh, the uh, landing platform above which is just really really cool and there's just this crazy stuff going on everywhere it looks like we got like a fuel tank storage room off to the sides here a couple of those upgrade space oh wow oh okay so this goes behind those solar panels on the front here it's just a place to put in larger pieces it looks like you got a, a solid uh three by three by three area for whatever fits in there which is kind of a lot of things um shields warp drives shield parts uh generators all kinds of stuff can can go in that section there and that's kind of neat it's just left open because, uh, yeah, there's so many different parts you could possibly put in there. And then these uh, these catwalks are going all over the place. Looks like we have a storage controller over here. We'll take a look at its total storage here in a bit. Um, 
And I imagine it's, uh, just by the looks of it, I would say this has a quite a bit of storage to it, too. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I like seeing this kind of thing going on, and it's it's kind of like you got stuff above you, you got stuff below you. You're just surrounded in this uh, immersive environment here. And then it uh, looks like we uh, went into one of the uh, the building areas here. Kind of on the bottom side. Yeah, looks uh, looks um, really awesome too. So the maintenance area, no oxygen. Okay, so it's saying no oxygen when you go out to space here. Makes good sense. Yeah, but uh, the detail is just everything is immaculate. Uh, uh, on the exterior too, you've probably seen a lot of uh, like rust decals and things like that over the uh, textures and things just to bring it forward a little bit more, give it that uh, that look. Uh, creation like this, it's hard to even know where to start. Like the uh, the signs here, I already know this is a uh, a, a bathroom area before I get there. Uh, that's really cool. Like the. Uh, Modification in the ceiling there too. Yeah, these uh, these labels over the doors that that is uh, that is a nice touch there. So we got our crew quarters over here, and I don't know, know where I'm going. I'm just randomly wandering through this. So it looks like we got a, uh, a med bay over in this uh, this room. Then we get into some crew rooms over here. Fancy one here, nice hardwood floor, nice uh, window with a view there. Your uh, kitchen table or breakfast table. Another very nice uh, apartment type of uh, situation over here. Very cool. And we got, oh, look at that. There's all the bedding. Nice. So this is for uh, multiple crew members. We got our sink. Just, yeah, just, just the way everything looks. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's lit up. Uh, this is the medic room. We came in from a different way there. Looks like engineering is down this way. That is where we came up from. So this is an engineering area. And obviously there's a lot of stuff going on below here too. Wow. Alright. Let's head up this way. So it looks like we're uh, we're lined up to the uh, landing pad. Uh, or landing area right now. So we're coming in kind of to the main building here. And we have production over here. A deconstructor. A couple advanced constructors. Our signs going down to the area we've just been at. Oh wow! Look at this room. Oh, this is that. Uh, this is that big open hangar area here, kind of on the inside. Oh, this looks so nice. Again, yeah, just the detail everywhere going on. This is a really cool uh, door mechanism as well. Coming in here, so it's nice and open, but it's not using a traditional hangar door, and it can do a. Uh, angle on the uh, the door as well that way yeah very nice very nice where does this go oh this goes to uh just another area on the outside to get in again this is like a floating factory in space uh kind of thing but yeah it's more than that it's like everything it's a space station it's exactly what it uh sounds like i suppose Looks like we got more areas for uh, upgrade parts, constructors, and deconstructor over there. So you can, uh, yeah, definitely a lot more areas. So you can really fill this room in with a lot of production. I'm sure the author just limited it on CPU uh, to spawn it in. Um, I think most of us do that. That's just one of those things. Can't put in everything you want or it'll break the bank, needing uh, a lot of extra uh, quantum cores, etc. So we got a CPU room over here. Looks like our main core is in this room. A lot of slots over here for quantum auxiliary cores, hamster cores, whatever kind of cores you can put in there. Hamster cores are a little more unique. They're only specific to a particular server that I know of. We got Hydroponics 2 Ops Repair Console up this way. I like the, uh, the use of the staircases as well, all the railings around. Yeah, this looks great. Really does look nice. And it looks like we're at Hydroponics 2, and that's going to go to Hydroponics 1, a can cantina. We've sort of been that way already, so we've got uh, 18 grow plots up in this room here. Again, you know, just looking at the detail, obviously you guys can see 
it looks very very nice everything about it here looks really nice so this is our grow light switch very cool like the LCD work there as well like the uh, the labels inside the elevator and we go down here this is uh, this must be our cantina and another uh, grow plot section over here hydroponics 2 no this is one I was at two okay Wow gravity look at that so we got to overlook over that hangar we looked at and this is where the uh, the gravity a gravity generator is I don't know if there's more than one in this uh, creation or not it um, but, you know a set to that side I would guess there is another one over somewhere on the other side maintenance area radiation okay so this is getting out to the uh, this amazing looking catwalk um, walking up on a higher level here so these are storage controllers I was curious about that I didn't get to this uh, center catwalk here but yeah looking at all these uh, these like tanks here with the framework going to it uh, these are all storage oh, that's cool oh yeah definitely have to look at the storage on this some other thing just just a lot of uh, detail pieces in here too uh, deco pieces like uh, you see all the stuff going on here and uh, mixed in mix that in with some piping lots of uh, decals lots of other pieces it just looks really sharp I mean it's uh, quite a place to tour for sure I'm not sure I, I'll probably miss stuff in it too guys but uh, anyway it's on the workshop right now definitely check this out um, for yourself as well there's a lot to see in here I really dig this kind of thing too when you're just kind of walking around and you're seeing um, you know the whole environment around you like just whatever this is looks like some kind of docking clamp for a larger ship or something like that uh, just really cool uh, all this extra detail in there just really uh, really sets it off These open floor design here, like looking down into the room below. Staircase with railings. Man, okay, so what I wanted to do is let's, uh, okay, so I think we've seen this stuff here. I think. And we've been this way too, so. Yeah. Man, I'm pretty sure I missed more stuff in here, but, uh. I don't know you know maybe I didn't maybe I didn't there's a lot of open areas a lot of catwalks on the bottom side the internal area is primarily in this section over here and then you've got your storage facility over to the side there and uh, yeah just look at it at, at like night too it's got a lot of uh, really cool like timed lights that uh, are traveling across the, uh, the landing pad another uh, really cool detail got a location to add in our uh, repair bay over here just just wild wild and obviously it's, it's got a lot of solar panels on here too um, you got a plus it's got a like a hangar beyond that la that landing pad uh, places to grow some crops but I would say uh, yeah it's it's a full functional space station here obviously designed to add a lot more parts to it you can really increase the production add in other stuff uh, CPU blocks you name it I probably missed a lot of uh, things in here too, but let's take a look at some numbers here. So to start with, uh, we are size class 12. So it's actually, it's a little smaller size class than I thought it was going to be. It's got a lot of fuel tanks in here too. 32 fuel tanks, uh, 20 oxygen tanks, 9 hour and 46 minute build time. Pretty light on resources considering its size and everything like that. It's, uh, yeah, barely touching any estrium or... Um, uh, Zacosium. I probably said one of those words wrong. <laughs> I was called out on that before. I just, for somehow, sometimes I look at uh, words and I just come up with uh, what, how I'm going to say it, and then I, it doesn't dawn on me that I'm like not pronouncing it correctly. But that that's just me. Um, 
So over here, yeah, not not too bad on the uh, the CPU. Obviously, uh, some things were left out, uh, and you can uh, add those in later uh, once you get the uh, the CPU to be able to deal with that, especially like more constructors, things like that. Um, let's take a look at uh, yeah, so CPU. All right, so storage. Uh, Nicely labeled here. It looks like we've got a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, furnaces. Yeah, I didn't even uh, check check the furnace uh, situation on here. I think I probably walked by that area there. But, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of 640s. So it looks like that, that's kind of the uh, the standard in here. And everything's labeled. So we got water, products, materials, two, three, uh, materials, one down over here, furnace in, furnace out, products, one, uh, and then, uh, yeah, some miscellaneous boxes on that. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 640K uh, storage controllers. And then, you know, boxes and stuff beyond that. Uh, didn't see any guns on here, but, you know, th that makes good sense. If you if you were to have something like this, I highly doubt you'd spawn it, you know, out in space near uh, enemy capital ships that could shoot at you. Uh, that would be kind of... Um, counterproductive uh so yeah with space stations the way things are set up um in the game uh, at least in in present form you know if you spawn it in a safe uh, zone somewhere you know near a star or whatnot uh you really don't need guns on it uh unless there's uh you know enemy cvs in the area that could uh come across this that that could suck if that were were to happen but if you uh, are a little careful about it and make sure that you're going into a zone that doesn't isn't full of enemies that can hurt you, uh, there's not really any good reason to have guns on here or ammo storage or any of that kind of stuff. Kind of uh, just cost extra resources and probably never fire a shot. Um, yeah, very 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 cool. And again, I probably missed some areas, especially around the furnaces. I didn't I didn't see a furnace location in here necessarily, but uh, uh, there probably is, there probably is, uh, <laughs> anyway, very, very cool, I'm trying to be a little bit quicker going through these creations, but I feel I'm failing at that as it is, so again, this is the, uh, Deep Space Logistics, uh, Reforged Eden by Ente, very, very nice creation, very, very cool space station, add it to the list of very, very cool space stations out there, this is, this is neat, I like the, uh, the platform design idea on it. So this next one I just saw it was just really cool. It's not it's not super big. Uh, this is the Burker Box V9 by Nova M, and uh, this thing's got some style to it. I tell you, this thing looks like something you might see in Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> it just it looks really 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 cool, uh, like one of those uh, stands there next to a coaster somewhere. Um, I yeah, I just love it though. I love this uh, I love this burger here. Uh, kind of a you know and the, the way the signage is done and the, the whole thing it just it looks really really neat uh, so they got veggie burgers cheeseburgers king burgers and uh, my favorite burger up here and this is just a little little fun here I looked at this a little bit earlier this burger so so we've got our buns we've got our meats we've got our lettuce we've got our cheese we've got our tomatoes and and but I would I would call this a Wi-Fi burger <laughs> because we also got we got a Wi-Fi in, in, in the tomatoes, um, but <laughs> that is that is so cool. Uh, see, we got like the little um, the little like fancy burger, like little stick thingy toothpick uh, thing on the top that that happens to blink in this case too. It's just yeah, this is this is just really cool, really creative. Uh, yeah, it makes me want to build like a a roller coaster or some theme park rides to put around here. <laughs> it just it really does that was a thought i had a long time ago i just never never did act on that uh but uh yeah love it love love the design here obviously it does have fridges and stuff like that in here too um one thing i tried to put fuel in here and it, it did not want any fuel it does have uh the roof here uh is actually a solar panel and it keeps this thing uh rolling um it doesn't have a lot of like equipment on it or anything like that it's pretty much just lighting up lights and keeping those uh those fridges going and uh, of course, we got our solar capacitors right over there too. Um, the other thing I'm a little curious about is we've got a couple. What is that? These are like, 
think these are some old school LCDs, but I wonder if they're supposed to say anything. Just kind of curious if there's any switches or anything. That's got a really small footprint on it too. It's pretty, you know, it's kind of it's kind of tall, but that that is just the coolest sign set up ever. I mean, if there was uh, if I was going down the commercial areas in the in town here and I see something like this, I'd just have to stop there and get a burger. It's just uh, really cool advertising going on there, and uh, it also uh, makes it look like this entire uh, roof just opens up too. Like this would fold down over the top more or less and then it's got like a a handle like it's it's supposed to look like a um like a lunch box or something uh, it's just really really cool and creative so anyway um i i definitely had to show this this is just uh, uh very impressive uh, for its small size there's so much character to it again this is the burger box v9 by nova m really really cool so let's get over to the platform uh, there's so many things. I couldn't get much on the platform today. Um, there's some big creations. Got a couple here, though. So the uh, first platform creation. <laughs> uh, this is the... Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Ar Argama Summoner Class by uh, Procon Loter. Um, and this is a carrier for sure. I love the asymmetrical uh, control tower design. But this is uh, set up different. It doesn't have like... A, like a flight deck uh well it's got landing pads up there but it doesn't really have a traditional flight deck instead it has uh two uh, double very large hangar doors that will open up to park down below which is a really cool take on that oh actually three and it's got another section out back here cool looking uh control tower area here definitely like that we've got some uh some turrets up on the side here yeah it looks nice looks like we got a uh NPC crew member in there. Cool look at uh, thruster housings here. It looks like it's just using the the large thrusters and not getting into the excels on this creation. So this uh, that'll keep the CPU cost down uh, quite a bit on it. Um, and nice look in front of like the uh, the multiple different uh, beveled angles going on here to kind of round that off on the on the front side of it. Cool looking uh, deco and trim. I like the uh, use of textures and uh, colors. It's it's uh, mostly uh, done in kind of a gray. There's probably some different tones of gray in there. And we got a, a red highlight going on here as well. Not a very subtle though. Just in the back area. And then we got a traditional hangar door on the very back of the uh, creation. And yeah, just miscellaneous uh, stuff. I like the uh, position of the uh, long range radar over here. And all the little intricacies in here. Looks like we got a quick access right into the bridge area from the top. With some blinky lights by it, too. Yeah, very cool. Get a good side profile of this. Yeah, nice looking carrier. It's not, it's, it's, it's big, but it's not like gigantic big. So it looks like it would be really usable in game, too. So I guess we'll I guess we'll come in through the uh, the backside here. Let me uh, I'm gonna try to uh, again adjust the lighting a little bit to see see what this does. Um, I've been trying to go to dusk or something, but yeah. So yeah, coming into the uh, the hangar here. I like the styling here. It's got this um, yeah, it's got some different colors colors going on in here, or maybe I'm just getting different light effects. But yeah, I do. I do think there's yeah different shades of gray, or maybe it's just different uh, differences in textures. A lot of texturing in here. So we've got uh, like this base material, and then we've got some other uh, our smooth metal base materials in here. And I like the uh, the format here. Oh, that's neat with the uh, the decals on the back. I like how they uh, they kind of center there, so you just see that yellow strip on the inside after the uh, the door closes. That that's cool. I uh, got some generators. Uh, behind some armored glass over here on the sides of this uh, this hangar bay and then it looks like we got a couple pathways going off either side here so uh, we'll have to go up there it looks like uh, that would be a production that way we got farms right here it looks like we got uh, what is that two times 27 54 girl plots right there Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking out loud. Um, 
You got oh I like all, I like all the labels again. I yeah you kind of know where you're going. It's the bridge, medical quarters, flight deck would be up this way. This would be uh, probably asymmetrical elevator on this side due to the asymmetrical uh, nature of the creation with where, where the control tower is. So then we come up into this larger hangar area over here with the uh, the, the very big uh, uh, double door setups on the uh, the top here. That looks really cool too. Uh, then we got a lot of storage right off to the sides. It looks like eight different storage controllers right there, and our uh, shield right up on the front behind a uh, glass area. And it looks like we've got uh, shield parts as well in here, some smaller uh, shield parts. Oh, that's cool. So it just kind of stops moving forward at this point, but we're pretty much at the front of the ship, aren't we? Let's head back this way. And I wanted to walk up these stairs going this direction, see where we uh, end up at. Ah, the production area here. So a couple advanced constructors, a couple small constructors, deconstructor. Uh, I like the windows and the uh, the uh, seats there. A lot of detail in here. Again, cool uh, cool effect going on with the lighting where there's uh, different colored lights probably set up a little bit differently. Wonder if I can even go darker on this, or will that just make everything too dark? Eh, no, it looks looks pretty good this way. Actually, it changes the um, the looks of the in interior. Well lit in here, which is a hard thing to do in this game on planet side at nighttime uh, to have anything uh, lit nicely. <laughs> so okay, so they, uh, it's just right into production. That goes to the front hangar. So pretty straightforward so far here. And then obviously we've got a oh, crew quarter section over here. It's a small little elevator there. So yeah, nice uh, nice crew room right here. We've got the, all the facilities, uh, kitchen counter, bathrooms, chill out place, couple bunk beds. Very nice. That's back to the rear hangar. All right, well, let's catch, catch this uh, main elevator here. So we've got our uh, bridge, medical quarters, and flight deck. So we're at the, I would say, the flight deck floor right now. Or no, we're not. <laughs> ah, this will be our flight deck here. I like the plants. Very cool. So that, yep, that gets us right out over here. And there's, uh, the, beyond the hangars, too, I mean, obviously, there is there is a pretty good size uh landing pads and things all, all over this as well so you can you can dock a lot of creations on this and park a lot uh, quite a few on the inside as well so this looks like a uh, nice uh, place to eat and chill your uh, cafeteria the cooks and uh, service people go there and we got another uh, Nice uh, room area here for crew. We got our showers. Is this the same? No, this is a different one than before. Yeah, very nice. But, oh, this is really, really nicely detailed in here. I like the the looks of all these rooms. Just a lot to see. A lot of uh, a lot of detail going on. So we're out to the flight deck. Let me get back to that elevator here. And obviously some utility function. Uh, in various places here too, like O2 and whatnot. So then we're right up to the bridge. Oh, look at this! The bridge is even like cush. <laughs> couple, uh, couple corner couches going on over here, and the bridge area. Yeah, these people got it nice. People are going to be applying for positions to be crew members of this ship. And then our pilot, our captain seat, our pilot seat, right over there. First officer chilling out there, ready ready for business. Then obviously we had our quick access in and out of the bridge as well from uh, out in space there. And then, uh, yeah, oh, I must have missed this. Uh, we got a full medical bay right over here as well. Got our bed, all our specialized equipment. Very nice, very nice. Like the, uh, again, you know, this it's pretty tight. All the, uh, the floor space in here is... Um, you know, the, the rooms don't have too tall of ceilings. It looks proportional, uh, which is hard. But, you know, at the same time, it's a little harder to get detail into those areas because you don't have many blocks to work with. But the author did a really excellent job of it uh, with use of textures and some uh, indents into the ceiling and uh, 
it just you know how the floor is done just yeah despite having you know not a whole lot you can do with uh, blocks and stuff like that in those tight areas the author did an excellent job here of just making this look really really sharp consistent throughout as well yeah very nice so yeah quite a quite a really cool carrier here a lot of uh, a lot of carrying ca capacity um, looks really sharp and uh, yeah a different take on like the uh, the hangar bays having uh, top entries into uh, uh, some of these bays but you also got a traditional hangar with the uh, you know HV entry bay as well and some defense of course too so let's look at some numbers here I guess we're starting with CPU so it is within 2.1 million CPU it's a core 9 build stock uh, it has extra CPU left over size class 6 oh, that's not so bad that's uh, it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be again so 89 4 19 strafing 70 lift 38 reverse 38 down 14 fuel tanks 12 oxygen tanks 17 hours and 53 minute build time 54 grow plots in there does have uh, looks like two crew members uh, da, 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 da. It's gonna use uh, some of the E and Z over here um, pretty typical though for a CV especially of uh, this size with this many uh, thrusters plus some missile turrets and stuff they all um, need some of the the E and Z or the Z and E uh, <laughs> yeah I did it that way so I didn't have to say the words so I wouldn't get corrected <laughs> yeah, I'm just cheating today so let's see what else do we got going on here storage so we've got looks like we've got uh, eight different cargo areas and uh, oh different sizes here looks like wow all these are uh, 400k that's a that's a different number uh, except for the harvest is 320 over here okay so deconstructor would be a box and beyond that we have uh, boxes we also have a, a 200k ammo band here so yeah it's really set up uh, really good with storage so you got four times seven on 400k plus a 320 plus another 200 and then uh, yeah obviously uh, sorter boxes for smaller items and things like that in here everything's nicely labeled very very cool uh, obviously long-range radar as well in, in the mix here something I didn't really look at I guess is the weapons uh, we, we also have a retractable drill turret stock uh, kind of would go hand in hand with that harvest bay in there so it looks like we can do some uh, some mining with it as well I'm, I'm just kind of curious where this uh, retractable turret may be and you know something else I didn't look at too do we have P menu options yes we do oh that's cool yeah you can turn on all this different stuff here um, and custom too. look at that uh, the grow plots food processors yeah so the author uh, this is really meant for gameplay here everything's set up to like power controls which is really really cool and and there's our drill right at the very front nose of the ship which is a really good spot to put that on here so yeah do some mining move all your uh, Creations around, uh, store a lot of stuff, uh, progress in the game. Um, very cool. Yeah, just sort of look at this one more time. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing uh, too insane here at all. So again, this is the uh, uh, Aragama Aragama uh, Summoner class by uh, Procon Loader. Very, very, very cool uh, carrier definitely like this one so the next creation here this is uh something kind of kind of, well this is more of a module carrier this one's bigger yet here this is the uh jln iron cloud by rt buco and wow this is a uh, this is a massive uh uh module carrier it looks like now one thing I was looking at uh, I was reading the, the uh, description on on the uh, on this uh, post here and I I didn't see that it ever said what type of modules it uses it's got uh, obviously uh, several different module ports or like I believe six in here plus a lot of other things but I didn't know what model module it was supposed to use 
Uh, it didn't. I, I couldn't see it in the uh, the description. Uh, so just just a heads up to the author there. I don't exactly know what what it should be using, uh, but this is yeah this is really cool. It definitely uh, yeah that uh, that big module carrier look here. I love this color fade on the front here. I notice the uh, the uh, gradient shade here. Uh, that's almost like a like a yeah it's cool. I, I like the looks of that. And then you got your white and blacks in the mix here. A lot of uh, detail work going on here with uh, the side pieces and the different block work, just uh, giving it that that flux, uh, uh, that just detail, I don't know, everywhere you look kind of on the insides here. A lot of like cut in block work over here as well, across the ceiling. Uh, really cool looking uh, like beams in here. Pretty complex design here. So we've got that going on. We've got three of these going on. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. And then we got our module base. This is really nice how that's set up too. So we've got uh, our target location over here, our entry point. Um, yeah, that's cool. So six modules looks like would connect to the inner hole over there. Got some XL thrusters here for uh, reverse and probably lift and I'm sure forward as well behind the doors over here are these upgrade slots for more thrusters definitely looks that way yeah so you probably remove the doors you could put in a couple uh, a couple more XL reverse thrusters over in this location it looks like yeah something like this so you know uh, a module carrier like uh, this kind of design that would be it's uh, its primary thing it's gonna have to move a lot of weight uh, you can't add all the thrusters in stock you'll just you know you'll destroy the cpu on it but when you're playing the game you just want to keep on adding more and more uh more and more thrusters and it looks like this is thoroughly set up to do that uh, it looks like we got a lot of other thruster mount locations over here for another set of eight forward excel thrusters which uh you know if you get a lot of heavy modules in there with a lot of storage plus you're you're moving uh whatever storage the uh the creation has plus Things docked on it all over the place, um, on the top side and the inside. Uh, yeah, these things get heavy, and uh, yeah, you want to keep them moving fast. So this is uh, well set up to do that. Obviously, it would need some extra CPU to pull that off, but uh, definitely, definitely set up to do that. I'm gonna fly around the top side here a little bit more. So we've got a lot of solar integrated in here too. It looks like part of the uh, the, the flight deck area here. We've got some various elevators uh, going into the uh, the hall from the top side. Makes good sense there too. Looks like we've got uh, what are these going to be? Some more thruster upgrade spots, I bet. Yep. Yeah, a lot of thruster upgrade slots on this uh, particular ship. But again, that is just something you would want a ship like this to have. It would uh, really suck if it didn't actually, because it would get so heavy with so much stuff on it over time that it wouldn't be able to move very good at all um without upgrading those thrusters we got uh, two like hangers right on the front we got our main uh, uh pilot seat area it looks like right in the front center here so let's get on board here let me adjust the lighting again not sure where to exactly go with it i don't want to make things too dark but yeah just try to give it that look there nice looking hanger there i like this uh like this this color combination kind of a, a couple different grays with this um, I don't even know what how to describe this color here kind of a some form of a, I don't know burnt red or I don't know I like it I like the color it really looks good with the grays and everything going on in here and then and the, I like this setup here too we got wires underneath these uh, areas cool looking decals there so yeah, interesting looking hangar there. A lot of stuff going on in the ceiling. I like this uh, this half block uh, framework going on in here too. Really cool. And then we got a uh, way going on to the uh, the inside over here between the two hangars. This would lead right up to the uh, the bridge. Uh, really cool LCD work there for our description and, and everything else. A lot of, uh, yeah, you'd have your crew in here doing all their stuff. Got a 
person that just monitors the uh, detector labeled uh, we got our uh, port and uh, starboard hangers and our uh, pilot seat over here like the uh, the catwalk that kind of walked across the front over here yeah right into the hangers too so I mean literally everything is really close considering how large this ship is uh, yeah all this all this stuff is uh, really close up we got a main door heading out into the module bay area. Oh, this looks, this looks sharp. Constructor bays. Oh, I like that. I like the uh, the LCD above there and the way this is uh, set up in here with the uh, the beams and the framework. So we've got a location for a constructor over in the, the side right there. Armor locker right on the side. Storage. Cool looking LCD around that. That's a new one. I haven't seen this... Uh, LCD. That uh, looks like a new design there. I like how it goes around the uh, the uh, texture on the uh, on the controller. Armor repair in there as well. And we got another one over on this side here. Constructor right up front. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So a constructor would go probably right here on this side as well. A small constructor. Uh, yeah, it's a small constructor. Yep. So, and then all the uh, the bay doors here that are uh, listed. Oh, the lockers on the side. Yeah, that's a cool looking uh, center section here. I like that. Look at this. Look at this. This is wild. So, bridge, cryo lab, engineering, cargo storage, briefing room. Oh, wow. We'll have to, yeah, well, I'll go up another floor here in a second. Then we got our module bays. Obviously, this would, uh, when you, once you park a, a CV that docks to this, uh, again, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I wish I knew what module type it took. There's a few different types out there. I, it's not a Helios one because it would be way wider on, on, on these. So it's, um, God, one of the other ones. I'm sorry, I, uh, I'm not, 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 uh, figuring that out exactly. But, uh, yeah, module bay five. I like how everything is labeled here, too. And just seats on the inside, too. So if the, uh, if you're going to move the ship and people are down here working in a module, maybe a production module or whatever, they can just hop into one of these seats in the center here while the, uh, the pilot moves the uh, ship to another location or warps somewhere or whatnot. And this just treks all the way across the, uh, the center of the ship out to the, uh, the rear hangar area here. Which is, uh, yeah, definitely a second floor going throughout here as well, or maybe even a third floor access big old uh, looks like a 13 by 7 hangar door on the back looks like our shields over on this side gravity generator back here oh wow look at this this just goes uh, quite a hallway set up over here oh another oh wow what did I get myself into here so we've got t2 shield installation Captain's quarters. Oh, in the back of the ship, really. Look at this. I didn't expect this back here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, interesting uh, way, kind of like, uh, kind of way out of the way on this ship here. But we got, uh, yeah, some stuff there. Captain. I didn't expect to find a captain's quarters here. But maybe if I would have read some signs or something, it would have probably said something like that. That's interesting. Yeah, you go way back into the ship over there. Sealed installation. Oh yeah, sealed upgrade parts over here. Looks like for uh, medium uh, shield shield pieces. At least one right here. And uh, yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, I like the arrow uh, pointing upward there. Wow. Yeah, that's just, there's a lot going on in here. Long range radar on this side. Jagged Legion Iron Cloud. Cool looking LCD on a piece of glass. Uh, colored differently. It looks like a, a poster. Really cool. And yeah, again, really, really nice. Nicely done there, too. I'm just kind of curious what's on the other side here. That So let's take this, uh, this hallway. Got more shield part locations. 
at officers' quarters on this side. Okay, so the captains and the officer have these uh, more plus rooms towards the back of the ship. A little bit of walking to get to them, but uh, it's worth it. I would I would make the extra uh, the extra walk to live there. I mean, just more exercise, better for you anyway. <laughs> Gravity generator over there. Oh, this is cool. What's this? T2 shield can be removed. Oh, okay, so this is uh, actually like an upgrade part for a uh, shield part in here. Oh, that looks really, that looks really wild there. Nice uh, detail work going on. What do we got here? Loading area, lift control. Let's try to see if this was a switch or not. It doesn't seem to... So, uh, there's one part that is a switch on this, but this one doesn't necessarily seem to be, or, may or maybe it's just sensor-based. Yeah, when I get near it, it uh, does the blinky. That's cool. All right, well, anyway, let's um, let's get up one of these elevators here to the upper access. Oh, no, this is good. This goes all the way up to the upper access. Okay, so this goes right out to the flight deck here. All right. Catch one of the other ones down the center. But maybe I'm mistaken too. For some reason, I thought it did have another floor up here. So yeah, it's talking about yeah two, and then three is the flight deck. So let's take one of these elevators to get to two. And here we are. So we got a crew lounge. Just go in there and check that out first. Oh yeah, look at this. Quite a lot of room going on in here. I guess it back out to the main hallway. Interesting uh, color work in here too. Uh, the marble blue ceiling. Um, some different floor uh, tiling in here as well. Like the uh, the the breakups there. Yeah, quite a lot of different texture textures used in this area. It's cool. Checkerboard carpeting floor in here. That's really cool too. We got to have the plant and the uh, the window appearing out between two of the uh, the module bays. Wow, this go this this really goes on, doesn't it? Holy smoke! So these are these are all uh, showers. Yeah, big shower room area here. Lots more crew area, lockers, bunk beds. Yeah, this is quite the uh, quite the crew area over here. Uh, so we got a briefing room, sick bay. Oh, I like this. That's cool. Nice looking sick bay. We got all our specialized equipment over here. Whole row of beds. Each one has uh, stuff near it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're back out here. Yeah, nice looking uh, sick bay here. Again, navigating the ship is uh, pretty easy here. This is uh, this was that other area. We'll come in from the uh, the hallway. It's probably got a sign there. Yeah, research lab. Yeah. So we got you know, all our uh, research plants over here and our tanks for alien organisms and things. And we got a cryo chamber, authorized personnel only. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this uh, this does look like a cryo chamber too. Yeah, nice uh, choice of deco part there. I like uh, the way that the whole angling works with the ceiling here too. And yeah, that yeah, this looks really cool. We got a clone chamber over here too. Kind of fitting, actually. <laughs> Just see. Okay, so we got a door that heads out this way. So we've been to the uh, the the crew lounge. It's quite a big place there. Uh, mess hall. Okay, so that's part of the same area. Okay, so then our hangar bay. Oh, interesting. This is like above. Yeah, this is above that rear hangar. Ammo storage. How oh, cool. Got ammo bays back over here. Oh, and it did link up to this uh, other elevator coming there. I missed this uh, port when I went right up to the, uh, the flight deck and missed it. So that was my bad there. Pretty obvious there's a whole section here. Yeah, very cool. I like how everything links together in the ship here as well. 
let's go down here see if I missed a particular room so we've been there we've been to the research lab uh, restroom which is part of this crew area here okay and bay crew quarters so we got to go to the briefing room oh that's cool yeah it does look like a like it would be some kind of briefing room here all the seats on the side there big old display in the middle 3d high-tech counter uh, yeah it looks nice uh use of the uh deco counter top pieces here on the top side and the bottom side that looks uh looks pretty nice we got our cpu chamber here uh so it looks like we have our core nine or some of our core nine blocks in in this room uh, our main core as well and let's go to the other side yeah and i figured the rest will probably be installed in here plus obviously a whole lot of room for quantum and auxiliary cores uh, things like that in here as well which you definitely need to uh upgrade all the uh thrusters or put in all the uh the big thrusters on this ship here so yeah i like this uh, lcd over here kind of saying hey put your aux cores there and we have engineering so a couple advanced generators, a couple locations to add some more advanced generators. Our warp drive right in the center there. That looks really cool the way that's set up there. Like the uh, the block work around it, the matching purple uh, texture lights to go with the warp drive. Oh, well, we got this uh, this this LCD. I've used that that LCD before. But Alicia, very very cool. Yeah, I like this. So, yeah, uh, obviously with all the extra thrusters, you're going to need extra generators as well. And that is, uh, it's got places for those too. So, I mean, everything's really well thought out here. So, and we got our Pentaxi tank right there on display. I like all these displays for these parts. Very cool. And I think, I think that would be the whole ship. We yeah, have, we've been up to the bridge area already. So you got this whole second uh, floor, and then the uh, the top floor obviously is getting into your flight deck. Uh, lots of ways down down into the ship from the flight deck, and then you got your two hangers up front, um, and uh, hanger in back. So yeah, it's just really meant to uh, move around a lot of stuff. And why why the if if you're unfamiliar on why uh, uh, you'd have a big flat top like this, it, it just allows you to park like larger cvs and things on it um, which is really helpful you might have some cv miners or some kind of cv combat ship or something that you'd want to uh, move around with you with this and this is uh meant to be uh nomadic as the uh the uh, description says so you can pretty much have everything with you there's only a couple features that you can't do with a ship like this um and that would be i believe an atm but maybe that maybe i'm incorrect in reforge eden maybe you can put atms on cvs uh, but you can't do furnaces. So furnaces is, is that one thing. Um, if you do add a repair bay to a CV, unfortunately, CVs also can't repair other CVs, which is more of a, a flaw with uh, the, the game rules, I would say, than anything else. Um, I really do think you should be able to repair a CV from another CV. Um, but So basically, repairing CVs and furnaces are really the only reason to have a base um and uh yeah that's about it too um <laughs> so this obviously has solar backup uh power too i mean the solar is going to aid with your fuel economy but you're still going to be using fuel but if you park this thing and you shut off all your thrusters and just and and, ha and hang out yeah it should probably be able to operate the ship for the most part without using uh much fuel um maybe some depending if you're running a lot of constructors or something at once so Stats wise, we're size class 15, 22 hour and 7 minute build time. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to use some uh, some E and Z over there. <laughs> uh, 46 forward, 38 uh, strafing, 46 lift, 46 reverse, 46 down. Keep in mind, this thing is really set up to massively upgrade its uh, performance, um, especially forward which is the most important stat for a ship like this uh, to be able to move a lot of weight. Um, obviously, you could probably upgrade a lot of these other directions as well, but uh, for your forward is going to be uh, the big one, especially once you get a lot of modules on here. You get a lot of, a lot of weight and storage on here. 
Uh, CPU wise, it's uh, set up Core 9 right in there. So you got a little bit of leftover CPU before you have to uh, upgrade. But if you're going to add any of those big thrusters, you will need to upgrade this pretty quickly. Uh, let's see here. Let's get into uh, Let's see. We also have uh, like drone defense and things like that. So we got a full barrage of like minigun turrets, a couple sensory guns, long range radar, and a detector on here. Storage. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, everything's nicely labeled in here again. So uh, two ammo bays at 320. Uh, looks like we got ore and resource bays, uh, miscellaneous uh, labeled boxes for other things. But keep in mind, this is a module carrier design. So your primary uh, storage and things would probably be using modules that you bring along with you. Um, so the main ship itself doesn't need to have a whole ton of storage because you've got six bays. You can pop in a lot of that stuff or more farms or uh, whatever, whatever you, uh, whatever modules are out there. Um, and there's probably quite a bit. And I'm pretty sure this is using a standardized uh, module bay. It could be a uh, Majora. Uh, there's, there's uh, 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 like three different types now or four different types of modules out there right now. And it does use one of those, I'm sure. So, again, very, very cool creation. This uh, is, again, the JLN Iron Cloud by RT Buco. Very, very cool creation here. So, the next one here is uh, really exotic. Uh, this I think this is just really, really cool. This is the, uh, the Red Reaper Destroyer by Lord. Uh, let me get the lights uh, a little more better here. And look at this thing. This thing is crazy. Um, definitely alien-looking uh, creation. Uh, looks actually like it would get up and start walking around. Uh, which is really, really cool. And I, I, I kind of uh, I admire the, uh, the uh, work that gets put into something like this. Trying to do organic-style shaping with blocks that don't have all the angles even close necessary to do that is is a hard thing to pull off uh and make it work it just requires a lot of playing around and looking around and things like that and this is doing it too and, it, and not only that i'm seeing a lot of embedded uh turrets in here too a lot of retractable turrets like in these uh these massive leg setups here and yeah look at this center body this thing is just tall it is really really big very cool. It, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of, uh, well, no, this is a lot different, too. I made something uh, for Creel a uh, while back called the Beholder that was a three-legged weird creation. Um, this thing, I think, would tower over that one. Uh, yeah, different different setup. This is a four-legged creation. I had a weird three-legged creation. Um, but, yeah, this is just this is just art here. I mean, look at this. This front area here, just the way the uh, the uh, texture lights are done, it yeah, it looks neat. It's making these shapes and formations and, and uh, very alien-like. And look at this, just the way these legs are set up. The uh, it mounts down there, and then it kind of it has to do this kind of curvy leg design that comes up to this point, and then comes all the way back down to these like uh, like claws or something down here. Or these just yeah it's just wild oh look at this underside here obviously you got this big like uh almost i don't know like big piece of armor head plating kind of reminds me of uh, something you might see on uh, certain kinds of dinosaurs back in the day but or insects um and look at this that's really cool the way this is done kind of like some kind of uh i don't know spine or something going on here that's that's wild every one of these rows are all custom and they're all angled um and the inside is just yeah this is really complex shaping it's hard to do this kind of thing again with the game and the, uh, the author here did a really really wonderful job very creative let me uh got the thrusters on thrusters are not i want to turn on the thrusters they look like they're they're red and would match the uh the rest of it here as well yep Wow, 
Yeah, look at this thing. That is just, that is crazy. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do, um, let me see if it's got a P menu option. Oh, yeah, it's lots of P menu options. Uh, turrets and weapons, I wanted to get those out too. I see a lot of them on here. So, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at all these launchers right on the, uh, the center here. Look at all these turrets kind of set up in various areas along the uh, the legs, especially the uh, the front legs, which would make a lot of sense. Holy smokes. I mean, this thing is tall, though. Holy jeez. Wow. Wow. Wild-looking creation. I, I definitely like it. It, it, yeah, again, this looks so alien. It's, uh, it's yeah. Kind of wonder if someone uh, someday would uh, turn this into a POI or something for the game as well. That would be, uh, be pretty interesting. Yeah, makes me uh, scared just walking near it. It's like, is it going to come down and, and stomp you with one of its uh, big claw arms or just shoot you with a bazillion turrets around um, or beam you up and uh, dissect you? <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. It looks like we've got a uh, interesting way aboard here, too. So it has ground access to, despite being so high off the ground. So we've got this ladder hanging down here. So I'm going to follow that on through in here. And we'll adjust the lighting here, too. Somewhere in there. So we got kind of that, that red, uh, well, it's part of the name of the creation, too, but uh, kind of that red uh, theme going on in here with the uh, texture lights. Looks like we got a quick uh, pilot seat right here, too. Like, instantly, you, you come up and you're ready to uh, take off and a uh, medical bay as soon as you come in as well. We go up a floor, armor locker, food processor, fridge, and armor repair. All, all. So yeah, despite how big it is, I mean, you get in and you're already in, like in business. You can fly away and you can fix yourself and do all your your basic uh, utility functions right right there without going anywhere else. So let's go up. Try to make sure I don't miss any uh, ways off here. Oh, wow, so we're up to this level now, and then it looks like we got, got production. Follow, yeah, despite how big and massive and crazy uh, this design is, it, it really looks like it's kind of set up to, to work, you know, in, in, in game here with uh, all this stuff. I like how these uh, constructors are recessed in there. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty cool idea with the, uh, the yeah, the uh, guardrails around there. Very nice. Then we got a labeled elevator system here. So we're at the workshop. Uh, so it looks like next floor would be quarters and teleporter, engineering, bridge, hangar, and hydroponics. The hangar is shown all the way up at the top. Very interesting. So let's, let's set up to the next floor. Where the, Where is that? It's maybe probably where these arrows are. Oh, that's an interesting idea. So it, it kind of like guides you where the next floor is by the arrows LCDs laid across there. Oh, that's that, that's interesting. I haven't seen that done like that before. You got a teleporter right over here. Crew member here. This guy was uh, abducted a while back. He was one of those uh, people that disappeared. Uh, this is so now you know where he is in case you're looking. Um, let's head this way. <laughs> And, yeah, we're into our crew. Period. Yeah, look at all these uh, uh, abducted people in here. Wow, this, this thing's been busy. Fridges, food processors. Oh, the the, the abduction cells here. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Yeah, I know, it's crew quarters. But, yeah, it's it's so alien looking that I, I, yeah, I'm just throwing some, some things out there. That uh, this thing looks like... Uh, that's how it gets all its uh, workers. It uh, goes to goes to Earth, and uh, yeah, it, uh, people it does some fancy lights in the sky, and then it uh, it beams them up, and then they uh, now live here, um, and uh, do do the uh, do the bidding of the hive mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just having a good old time. I, I like I like seeing these alien kind of things here. Uh, very cool. This almost looks like it's a uh, uh, a mission giver here with that arrow going on there interesting so yeah a lot of uh what 
then oh yeah we got so like a main bridge as well so we're there's that quick bridge when you uh came in here and then there you got like a, a larger bridge here it looks like there's a uh a blast door protection in front of the armored glass on this uh this part as well and more utility function uh, a clone chamber over there Did it, i went here already didn't i no i didn't <laughs> Generators, that's cool. Like uh, how they're uh, mounted in there. Just behind the door here, we got a gravity generator and offline protection. CPU blocks up in the ceiling over here. It's like uh, I see some purple. Must be a warp drive. So yeah, that that's cool. I like uh, the uh, glass work there as well. Yeah, a lot of lot of lot of cool detail stuff going on in here. And right into a shield. So yeah, this would be uh, definitely our engineering area. Main main CPU core right up there, our CPU core blocks. You, you know, one thing I did not look at is if this was for RE or vanilla. By looking at the cores here, I'm seeing four, probably four advanced. So this may be a vanilla uh, creation that I'm looking at in RE, which would really throw off some uh, the CPU stats and typically the the thruster speeds. We've been to our bridge. Yep. Let's go up to uh, this floor. Oh, interesting. So it's got that. Wow. Holy smokes. What the? Okay, so this is, uh, we're getting into the. Uh... Oh, wow. This is crazy. Hold on. We got to, there's, there's something to see here, but I'm really curious on what's going on up there. So we got a big, uh, big farming section in here as well. Look at that. Oh, I like the uh, the way the ceiling's done with all the uh, the red texture lights and things going on here. Got all our grow lights here. I imagine there's uh, switches or P menu options to turn those on somewhere. Let me just see what we have going on in here. There's a lot of switches. Yeah, grow lights. There we are. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So yeah, you gotta have a, a full, uh, pretty large farm as well. I'll, I I don't even want to calculate, do the math on here. I'll I'll look at the grow plots and the uh, and the uh, stats here on it. But I am very curious on what's going on up top here. Uh, so we got a repair console over here too, which is really cool. And I like the uh, the switch there. Everything is labeled again. And okay, this is just nutty going on here what what in the world is happening it's like we're upside down now and you come in at this direction through this oh massive blast door holy smokes and then it goes to a, oh this is this is this is crazy uh, we got a lot of storage controllers on these levels going on here with this big craziness over here okay so how does that work out from the outside so right there wow look at that it, it, you know and we're not probably oh wow this thing is just this is a big creation but okay so you fly in here this opens up you come down into this area and you literally park facing in this orientation at an angle on, on top of this but it's it's so deceiving because when you're in here it looks like you're on flat surface but really this is a 45 degree angle oh that's wild I have never seen anything like this before and then you got your repair bay location at the front here that's just that it's it's disorienting in a cool way I love it that uh, is uh, really thinking out of the box here on this again not can't say I've seen anything like it. Then there's this uh, utility area right over here as well, with some other rooms that are going off from there. Okay, up up to the uh, the upper level here, and then we got some elevators that continue on going up. And there was a lot more ship above too. Not sure if that all has room space in there or not. Probably not. Well, that's just that's just crazy. I don't know what to say. It's uh, so different. So different. It looks like it would work, too. Like, it's not that hard. 
like you could uh, you could fly in here and then flying uh, SV or something down in this way uh, looks like it would work out pretty good and you what an unusual way to uh, park creations but it actually gives you like a, a pretty good size hanger but I've never seen a hanger actually done at a 45 degree angle before like inverted like backwards down um, yeah that's that's crazy that is a uh, wow very cool creation very very creative and artistic and and uh, again it kind of looks like it would work in gameplay as well really cool um, man look at look at some numbers here so yeah vanilla creation so yeah I, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm showing this in the wrong setting so I apologize for that I expect this to be well within the 10 billion CPU for with four advanced CPU cores for vanilla so don't don't pay attention to the this in here because I'm looking at it in the wrong gameplay type. Uh, quite a lot of weapons on here as well. Take a look at some numbers here. Uh, so we're somehow this is only a size class 10. Not sure how that how the author pulled that off, but that is pretty cool. I, it looks bigger than a size class 10 to me. Um, in fact, all the creations today kind of looked a, like they should have been higher size class than what I'm seeing them at. Um, but I'm probably just completely wrong here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to take a fair amount of E and Z, <laughs> uh, 40 hour and 54 minute build time does have seven, uh, uh, abductees on it. <laughs> uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of weapons. Looks like it's using probably vanilla max weapon limits or close to it. I would say, uh, it's probably why there's different types of, uh, turrets there. Try to try to follow the uh, the predefined weapon limits there. Uh, so motion wise, six forward, six strafing, nine lift, six reverse. Uh, these are invalid though. It's going to be a lot different in vanilla uh, on the stats here. So I would expect all these numbers to be higher than what you're seeing them. Um, I'm not sure by what extent, but they would be they would be uh, bigger numbers here. So we got eight fuel tanks, uh, eight oxygen tanks. Again, size class ten. I don't know. This thing is giant. I don't know how it's fitting in size class 10, uh, to be honest. So uh, let's take a look at some storage on here. So it looks like everything is labeled on the inside, and we've got a lot of containers. And then we've got, uh, yeah, we've got uh, our, yeah, oh, wow. So holy smokes, these are. There's a, oh, jeez, holy smokes. Well, if you guys are seeing this, I thought, I thought these were going to be boxes, but I'm seeing like 320K storage bays on like all of these. One thing I probably would say, with this much storage on a creation, this has a ridiculous amount of storage in it. Um, yeah, these are all 320s. Holy smokes. You would need insane amount of lift thrust on this thing to get it off the ground. Um, if you're flying around in space, be, it'd be a little, little, little rough to move around too, but it, uh, what, what does it have for lift thrust? Uh, just thought I'd look in the, uh, the usual suspects here or if you're not playing with weights and volumes on then it would totally work too but uh, uh so it does have some uh some lift thrust uh interesting thruster locations over over here and there so all four legs have uh looks like uh, is that okay it looks like a large thruster yeah well this thing has holy smokes this has i don't even know how much storage it has a lot of storage in it as well um, but yeah if you did if you did really stock that up if you're playing with weights and volumes on that is it probably wouldn't get off the ground um, but um, if you're not then this thing is this will hold everything you ever want and then some um, yeah again just just looking at the storage I don't know how many containers we're looking at here because there's like right ones and then there's oh my goodness harvest uh, a lot a lot of storage on here 
anyway, very, very cool creation. I've never honestly seen anything quite like it. Uh, yeah, I love it. Um, so again, this is the Red Reaper Destroyer by Lord. Really exotic creation. I hand it to you for the artistic ability, um, the shaping, and just the general uh, cosmetics on the ship, and well as well as that inverted 45 degree hanger. I've never seen anything like it before on any creation. So yeah, really, really original creation there. So the last creation today um, uh, is this uh, this little guy here, um, and this looks like a uh, starter CV to me. This is the uh, NSS uh, Necessity Warp Shuttle by Nate Napal Minus. Uh, and uh, yeah, the Napal Minus recently did a uh, video too, kind of a kind of a fun review of uh, Imperium here. And uh, finally taking a look at a creation that the, uh, the, the same person made here. Nice looking uh, starter like CV uh, setup here, really small. Nice looking. I like the uh, I like the uh, access doors here. It kind of goes on these ramps up to a uh, a ladder up into the uh, the cockpit area. Nice, uh, yeah, nicely detailed throughout here too. Some uh, some antenna pieces. I like the uh, the wing setup here. Looks like it's using uh, our uh, our smaller thrusters or the uh, well that these are actually considered medium thrusters. For CVs, I like the uh, the angle thruster setup on the back here. Nice uh, looking color scheme going on here too, with uh, kind of black, gray, and and a lighter gray set up with uh, blue accents um, with the deco parts and the thrusters and things like that. A couple of turrets here. Looks like they could swivel and fire forward, as well as shoot kind of uh, down as well. Detector up top, another turret on the back to uh, yeah shoot those uh, drones that are chasing you around. I like the yeah uh, the bridge set up here too. Kind of has that fighter approach to it. Yeah, it's really cool. Just yeah, right there. It's not very big, but it is a CV. Um, let's see what the underside. It's got some neat details going on. Some pipes and. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. A lot of texture work done to the cre the uh, creation here. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And uh, yeah, way in on either side here. So uh, let's uh, step up there. I'm gonna try to uh, again adjust the lighting a little bit. I missed doing that. I was doing that in the past, and I got so upset with the lighting at night that I kind of stopped doing it. But that's has its side effects too. Uh, oh, very nice. Nice uh, open view here. Looks like we got a uh, pilot seat, passenger seat, fridge right behind the main core, storage controller, shower, armor locker, fridge on that side, small constructor, uh, O2 uh, med station. Wow, everything is like right here, and this is this is it. This is like the whole uh, whole interior. So everything else must be your uh, your main parts here. I'm gonna fly through the hall a little bit here. So, uh, yeah, we've got our warp drive in here. And uh, it looks like we're using a uh, smaller sized uh, RE uh, shield for CVs. So shield and warp drive. And then back here we got our generators, fuel. And, yeah, that's uh, yeah, pretty much right to the point. Nice. Well, definitely doesn't look like it's going to break the bank either. We'll uh, we'll take a look at some numbers here, but uh, so uh, what do you got going on here? So, well, we'll start here. Obviously, the CPU is uh, really low on this. Uh, unlock level 12, definitely starter unlock level there. Uh, quite quite snappy with its speeds here too. So 75 forward, 38 strafing, 75 lift, 25 reverse, 25 down. Uh, four fuel tanks, three oxygen tanks, uh, three hour and 31 minute build time. Not using any E or Z, period. So, yeah, definitely definitely a starter uh, creation. Um, yeah, unlocks uh, early, quick build time for ACV. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, easy, uh, yeah, pretty easy to get everything here, too. So, yeah, those are going 
uh, quickly in game here. You can uh, you got some some defense. You've got a shield. Um, just out of curiosity, I want to. Okay, the shield's not real big, but it's enough. You know, this isn't meant to go engaging uh, dreadnoughts or anything. So it's pretty much you know uh, try to avoid the uh, the nasty stuff. Shoot the drones when you uh, when they come by, and your shield should get you through those kind of uh, scenarios. Uh, and then CPU wise too, I mean, it's got a bit, one basic CPU core in here to bring it to uh, 400,000, but it's not using 100,000 of that CPU. So you you can add more stuff without uh, needing any uh, improved CPU cores or anything on here. So that's that's another uh, nice feature. Um, as in its uh, necessity shuttle, <laughs> nice. Uh, so, as in its storage, it does have a, uh, looks like we have a con uh, container controller at 128K, and then uh, on an uh, ammo box at 14K, and a couple boxes beyond that, and a fridge, of course. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's uh, inexpensive, uh, pretty agile uh, starter CV to get you up into space pretty early game um, without breaking the bank or anything like that. Uh, so very very nice. It's uh, yeah, just right to the point. Uh, really set up for like a, a two-player setup, and I think that would be uh, ideal for the uh, particular author as well. I believe him and his uh, wife uh, uh, do this game here and uh, make an occasional video. So very very cool. I like the creation. It uh, yeah, it looks practical. It looks like a, a good viable starter option for uh, for gameplay. And it looks nice, uh, you know, on the side there. So, other than that, that is uh, that is everything for today. It's some really wild stuff going on here. I just love all these uh, these creations here. A lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of detail, time and effort, a lot of creativity. Uh, just all this stuff is just really really neat. The uh, the crazy alien. Um, I don't even know what that. What it, it, it looks so alien though. It just yeah, very very cool. And uh, guys, yeah, it looks like it's completely uh, a thing now that we can do uh, inverted 45 degree hangers. So, uh, you know, on your next creation, you know, rather than, you know, like uh, like I do myself and do all this uh, this horizontal stuff here, guys, you can, uh, yeah, you can build these ships at a 45 degree. And, uh, it, you know, it, I don't see any reason why that hanger won't work either. It's just such an interesting thing. Anyway, awesome work, everyone, and you all have yourself a great weekend. I will talk to you later.